back out day two in the middle of nowhere again it's for a change like you know, in the middle of a bog of terror here like we're in a world of shit Oosh. Oh, we've no idea where the path is. It's on the map, we're on the path, but some path, path of death. Leanne enjoyed that battering we took last week so much. She's come back for more, because it's really windy again. Oosh. All right. This is not easy, like, this is not ideal. <laughs> Stop. Hop across and hop and hop and hop. I would go. Aye. Oh. Right in it. I don't know what I'm laughing at. It's my turn now. I think I was going to hop onto that one. This is madness. Right, put the camera away. Anyway, we're going up there. We'll come back. I can't believe, I can't believe what we walked through there. It was like the great Grimpton Meyer from Sherlock Holmes. It's horrendous. No path, like. We're on the path on the map, but there was just no path. But we're down the bottom of the ravine of terror. All right, death. And we're going up there, up the top of there. We just sacked the path off, like, and we're just going direct route. So that's the best, that's the top tip. Just forget the path and the map and just go straight for it. So we've got to get across here. It's going to be good. For the nearest crossing point. It's a bit of cave subsidence there. We could use that to our advantage. Way high. Look at that one. Knee bother. Jump that leg. It's like stunt woman. <laughs> so easy you know. Watch me going. Oh so I tip. I think I'll swallow. You're still wallowing about in the mire. These bags are not open. Oh, right, well, that was exciting. Oh, what the hell we're in here? I'm laughing because we've got to get back tomorrow. We've got to go through it all over again. <laughs> Definitely going to find a better way back. walked so far um, two and a bit miles through absolute hell on earth We've got here at this trip point with a view wind we're gonna go down here and see get sheltered behind these rocks how bizarre Looks like it's gonna fall over. Looks like it's made then. Oh, we need to stir under that. Do you think it's Bushman being building these trick points?
that I was set up. So cold. Cozy now, isn't it? All right, I'm going to turn this off because uh, it's just not much really to report. Had no beer. It's not cold. It wasn't windy. We're, we are pitched in the greatest pitch ever, ever known to man. So basically, just ignore all that and just reverse it all because we're in the worst place. Well, mats are slipping down like mad, aren't we? Yes. Oh, look at that one, son. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. It's bloody. It's the bobble on your hat. It looks like a creature. Stop it. That's un... Ah, oh, I don't like it. Anyway. What are you doing? Look at the bobble on your hat. It looks like some sort of, like, gerbil. Leave me bobble as well. It's a <laughs> guinea pig or something. What the hell? It's a dead ferret. Aye, right, so anyway, have you had a good night, eh? Very good. Should we do some impressions? Mm -mm. Let's do Chris off MCM Outdoors. All right, mate. How's it going, like? Hey. I've got this great tent life. <laughs> I can't do impressions. It's great. It's great. It's the greatest tent in the world. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. You know I'm only taking the mickey. Will you stop it with that bloody light? Oh, the light is horrendous. It is shit. Anyway, back to Chris. My Bill Shankly right. the greatest <laughs> football manager in the world. The world. <laughs> He's gonna hear me, <laughs> Uh, He's hate you. Well, that's nearly as good as his Geordie accent. I mean, however, be fair. Uh, his Geordie accent? Shit. His Geordie accent was the greatest Geordie accent I've ever heard from a scouser in my life, like. It was still shit. You get me? You get me, blood? I think I need to turn that camera off. It's, I don't know how you can look at that. It's so bright. It's just... Uh, uh, I'm look I'm looking at the light, right? Because I'm hard. But <laughs> the thing is, I'll never ever see anything ever again. Because <laughs> I'm hard. I am hard? Yeah, are you shy? I'm rock, man. No, you're not. Rock. No. Oh. Yeah, As Chris would say, right? I'm rock. Right, anyway, we're off. Right, so say goodnight. Bye. John Boy, Mary Ellen. Good night. The wind has gone, so. It's not such a wild night at night, but my God, it's cold. But the wind's away anyway. So, it's good night from Mary Ellen, and it's good night from John Boy. <laughs> John Boy. Aye. Right. Remember the Waltons? Yeah, yes, I do remember the Waltons. No, you don't. You're certainly old enough to remember the Waltons. That's enough of that. There you go. <laughs> cut you off there. All right, all right. Morning, Captain Hardy. High now, too. Can't be asked. Too cold. Oh, well, I was bed at nine o'clock. Leanne stayed up at about one o'clock, drinking, drinking everything. All of it. It's icy. Ice on the tent. I've emptied it like it's. Uh, it's all packed. All packed, ready to go. It's a good way to warm up. Get it packing. I'm oh, just gonna head off. So, if anything exciting happens, we'll come back. It's still windy. <laughs> We're back up to the rigs. We were describing them earlier and my battery ran out. So they're made of stone. Somebody's put a lot of time and effort into this, like. 
Honestly, it's mad. Where to get all the flat stones? There's nine of them. Nine standards rig is well, nine standards rig is up there. The the trig point. I don't know if you can make it out right in the distance. And this is called the nine standard stones. Built by the Romans in Viking times. They would use um, a pulley system to get the stones up from the bottom. They had pulleys all the way up here. There used to be a big tower. The square one at the end was the tower. That was the tower with the pulley wheel on it. And they used to pulley it all in, the Romans. That was about 1940, no, before the war. It was definitely before the war, wasn't it? When the Romans were here. Who knows, there might be another war yet. And then in 50 years time, we can talk about the Third World War and what the Russians ever did for us. Anyway, let's not get political.